Hello Guardians! With Season of the Wish coming up, Bungie has promised some stasis changes, and in anticipation of that, I decided to present to you a Titan stasis build. With this build, you get ad clear, you get damage, you get survivability, you get it all. You just become a walking tank. Let me show you how this works. First up, we have the Icefall Mantle. It has a really beefy uh, description, but basically what it's trying to say is you're bar you don't get a barricade anymore. You get a personal overshield that makes you slow. So you become a tank with a lot of with some damage resist, you get an overshield and everything like that. On top of that, Stasis Final Blows give you um, basically like the equivalent of a weapon surge mod. It basically gives you more damage, up to 25% more damage. Um, and if you activate your class ability, you become the tank, and also you get maximum. Uh, stasis damage boost from your weapons. Let's move on to how we're going to configure our subclass. Uh, we only get one option for the super, which is Glacial Quake. I won't go too deeply into this because based on your weapon choice, you might not actually use this, and that's a bit of foreshadowing. Uh, class ability, it's going to be overwritten by your Icefall Mantles, so don't worry about it. Grenade, I would go for Duskfield Grenade for two reasons. One, it applies slow and freeze. It just applies numerous slow stacks, so it makes it really good against Overload and Unstoppable Champion and has an area of effect. Uh, the second reason is that it has multiple damage ticks on this particular grenade because every tick of slow damage counts as a damage tick, which makes it really useful for mods such as Bolstering Detonation, uh, where you get class ability energy when you cause damage with a grenade. Every damage tick counts towards this, which makes it really useful for the sake of ability generation. For aspects, the only one I found particularly like, oh, you've really got to have this, is Diamond Lance, just because Diamond Lance is really fun and also just comes up quite a bit. Uh, you just get Diamond Lances pretty often, and it's just kind of nice to have them around. They're, they provide some on-the-spot um, freeze effects and whatnot, so it's kind of nice for that reason. I paired this up with Howl of the Storm, just to provide like an additional way to create stasis crystals. That was my primary motivation for picking this, but you can't go wrong with the other two aspects, I think. Like, I think the other two aspects are probably just fine as well. The reason why I care about stasis crystals being around is because of one of the fragments we're going to talk about, and this is a good transition, Whisper of Chains. You get damage resistance when you stand next to a crystal or near a frozen target, which makes it kind of nice. So if you need a crystal and pinch, you could just throw one up real quick and you get damage resistance, basically. So that's kind of nice. And you will be freezing quite a few people as well, so that's just this adds on to the damage resistance of your resilience stat and of Icefall Mantles like damage resist while you have the overshield. So this makes you even more tanky. The next really important fragment is Whisper of Refraction, where defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability energy. We'll be freezing and slowing lots of things, so this is just really nice to bring back our tank mode more often. Whisper of Shards is an incredible fragment. It just basically gives you more grenade energy. So in the case that you need another grenade really quickly, you can shatter a stasis crystal. Yeah, if you happen to have stasis crystals around, this really helps. Uh, the next two fragments are, I feel like, just really good quality of life. They're definitely not mandatory for this build. Whisper of Bonds gives orbs of power on defeating a frozen target. This includes the targets that are frozen by Diamond Lance and by your stasis weapons. So just be, the ability to create additional orb power is just really nice. It goes with our mod setup. So yeah, I'd say this is quite nice. Um, Whisper of Rending is really good if you happen to be using a stasis primary weapon. Uh, but even if you're not using a stasis primary weapon, I just find this a nice quality of life to just destroy crystals from a distance or to attack frozen targets from a distance to shatter them or things like that. So that'll be my final fragment recommendation. Before we're talking about mods, I'd like to quickly talk about weapons, because I first tested this out assuming that a stasis primary would be the best way to handle Icefall Mantle, but I found that there was another way to make this work so much better, which was Agar Scepter. For those that don't know, Agar Scepter is an exotic weapon that basically is a old laser that is one of the best ad clear weapons in the game, and if you get the catalyst for this, you also can drain your super energy in order to empower the beam, and it does pretty solid damage. So I would say that this could, like, it even works as a DPS option in a pinch. Like, it's, you certainly will do more DPS using Ag Receptor than you would using your regular super. I would say that's like a pretty good exchange. Another weapon I want to shout out is a Cold Comfort. You get this from the um, Ghost of the Deep Dungeon. Um, and this is the best stasis rocket launcher right now. It also happens to be pretty close to the best uh, rocket launcher right now, probably 
coming in close with Apex Predator at the moment in terms of legendary rockets. So this is like a really standout option. And the fact that Icefall Mantle basically gives us 25% more damage uh, on stasis weapons makes Cold Comfort kind of nice, especially if you need it in like a, in a pinch scenario where uh, you need burst DPS. Uh, Cold Comfort happens to excel in just bursting uh, in a short amount of time. So Icefall Mantle is a really good pairing with it. So to cap things off, I would highly recommend your weapons would be Aggro Scepter if you can get your hands on it, Cold Comfort if you can get your hands on it, uh, otherwise any other stasis uh, power weapon could probably work just fine. Uh, and then with whatever primary you want in the energy slot, I went with a bow just because I was doing a Legend Lost Sector <laughs> and I needed something to deal with the, the barrier champions. Your, uh, your mods will look something like this. The goal of this is to give you a lot of class ability uptime and a lot of grenade uptime. We need grenade uptime to help with the class ability uptime and just because it's kind of nice. The most important things I want to point out is on the Icefall Mantle, your arms. I went with Bolstring and Momentum Transfer because your grenade can basically give you more energy due to the multiple damage props that I talked about before. So those are the really two big things I want to mention on the Icefall Mantle. I do want to make a mention of how I've configured the leg armor. So I went with Innervation. Uh, this gives you like a pretty, I think it was like 5% on Innervation or it might be a little bit more than that. Uh, I then went with Absolution and then Orbs of Restoration. Now you might be wondering, hey, if Emma, if you care so much about your class ability, uh, why not go for Insulation? The thing is, is that Insulation doesn't actually give you a whole lot of ability energy. Um, so by going with Absolution and Orbs of Restoration, I kind of mimic a similar effect, but it's improved. So that's why I personally am not a big fan of Insulation, but if you are a believer in it, you certainly may go for it. I just happen to have the energy slots for it, so I went with Absolution and Orbs of Restoration. Optionally, if you feel like you're struggling in some content, you could opt for Recuperation or Better Already to supplement one of these just to give you healing as you pick up Orbs of Power. Sometimes I found myself wanting this, but I never really felt like I really needed it. So if you feel like you do need it to survive some harder content, that's an option for you. And that's all I have for this video. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this, and this is, took some creative brain power to figure out like what's a good way to use this uh, exotic. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good time with this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy hunting, Guardians!